What is the enterprise software development process? The process of developing software for enterprise level business involves six phases. It is often referred to as the software development life cycle or SDLC. The SDLC's six phases are planning, analysis, design, development, quality assurance, and maintenance. In the planning phase, the product team works with the client to prepare a detailed plan for building the product. The goal is to establish schedule and timelines, estimate cost, and define the basic software requirements. The client and the development team discuss the basic requirements for the software, such as the problem the application solves, the product's end user, and the required functionality needed. The requirements analysis phase is the second phase of the process. In this phase, the team lists all software requirements and gains buying from all stakeholders. The project manager and the team meet to define the project's timeline and the technical skills required. They also do a risk analysis and outline the security requirements. Then the project enters the design phase. This phase establishes the software architecture based on the requirements. Designers consider how to balance the architecture and user interface to create a pleasing user experience. They often create simple prototype of the user interface and share them with the client. Upon completing the design, the development phase begins. This is the phase most people mean when they talk about software development. In the development phase, the software engineers build the product described by the requirements and design. It involves writing soft software code to create the product's feature and functionality. The development phase often proceeds in iterations. That means the team works for two weeks to produce working code, which then gets reviewed by the client. It also means that code is tested and debugged every two weeks resulting in higher quality. That brings us to the quality assurance phase. Quality assurance involves testing the software to reveal errors or bugs. These software defects are sent back to development team for debugging. The testing and debugging process continues until the software is stable and works as required. The final phase in the SDLC lifecycle is the deployment and maintenance. The software product is now ready for release to the end users. The development team sets up a way for enterprise users to download and install the application and they help resolve any problems that might occur. They also release updates and enhancements for the software and that in a nutshell is the enterprise software development process. You can learn more about the software development lifecycle in our white papers and blog. You can find them at taza.com.